Hello. How are you today? Hi. You guys going to be watching this show. I'm just going to wait for a few minutes to see if anybody's going to join me today. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing at hope? Everybody have a good Christmas. I hope everybody have a wonderful Christmas. I'm just gonna wait a few minutes. And what is my topic today? My topic today is how to become a better person in 2018. How you can become a better you in 2018. It's going to be good. It's going to be helpful. Because this is a coming year. And you want to make some changes in your life. That's going to better you. And it's going to better people around you. So I'm going to give in, I'm going to be giving some tips how to become a better you in 2018. So there's things you need to do to become a better you. Because when you become a better you, you will have a greater outcome in life, in society, whatever you do when you become a better you. So I'm going to be showing some tips and how to do that to do just that okay so how to become a better person in 2018 things you must stop doing to become a better you you must you want to improve your life i'm going to be showing that how can you become a better you and how you can improve your life Life doesn't become, your life doesn't get improved just by itself. You have to do some work. In everything we do in life, we have to do some work. We don't just, um, our life just don't get just better just like that without doing work. You need work. You have to put some work into your life in order for it to become better. So the only way to get your life improved or situation change, the only way you can get your life to improve or situation change this coming year, I'm going to be showing how you can do that. Because this is a new year, 2018, and you need to do some changes in your life in order for you to become a better person this year and productive not only to be living the same life over and over again but to actually make improvement in your life people are you're free to share this message it might bless somebody you can comment if you want if you like it give it thumbs up um if you don't like it well it's still gonna be it so if you bring in if you want to bring a change in your life, you need to do some step. You must stop some things in your life in order to improve. Like the things that are not being productive in your life. You need to stop the things that are not productive in your life. If your life is always being the same and you're doing the same routine and you're doing the same thing over and over you need to stop it. So I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm going to share with you how you can become a better person in 2018. You can't just live the same life over and over again. And it's not benefiting you. It's not benefiting people around you. And you're just living the same life over and over again. You need to do a change. You need some work. And I'm going to show you how you can improve your life this coming year. For example, for me, for example, for me, I've done a lot of changes in my life. One of the changes that I've done is doing this broadcast. Like I've, a uh, lot of changes have happened in my life that I cannot imagine what 
I would have done if I didn't do those changes. And it's it's improving my quality of life. It's improving everything in my life. And I use this tip. And then now I'm a better person. So I want you to become a better person this year. Okay, for example, how no, a reason what, how you can improve your life. One, you have to change the people you're surrounded by. Okay, so you have the same people surrounded by you all, all the time. And these people are not actually doing anything good to your life. They're just bringing you down. They're not impacting your life in a positive way. You need to change those people in your life. You need to surround your life with people that's going to impact your life in a better way. There are people who accept themselves for who they are. Like, you can't just accept yourself for who you are. Because you can be a better you. But if you're just accepting life just the way it is, is because you said, oh, this is the way life is, but you're not doing anything to improve it. That is not what God wants us to do. That is not God. God wants us to live a better life. He wants us to live a productive life. And if you're just comfortable in your situation and you're not doing anything to improve it or to make it better, you just satisfied with the status quo, then you have a problem and this coming year you need to change because everything in life requires work and if you don't work to better yourself you're just gonna be the same all the time and people are gonna get better people are gonna get richer people are gonna improve their life but you go just gonna be uh, um just the way you are it, it is not acceptable to become lazy <clears throat> We can just be lazy and don't do work. You need in life, you need to do work. Because God created us on earth and put us here on earth to do work. Not just to live just a life just like that. And sometimes people said, oh, you have to love me for who I am. But he can be better. You have to be you love me unconditionally. Yes, I get it. We have to love people unconditionally. But you can't just love people unconditionally based on bad things. If you're loving people unconditionally based on good things, I get it. But if you're just loving them based on bad things that's not going to improve their life, it's not, gonna, it's not a better quality of life for them, it, it's not acceptable. It has to be a better option than just being, just being like that. Life is not supposed to be like that. Just all the time bad things. Like challenges happen, I get it. But you have to step out of those challenges and become a better person. Don't just stay in the same circumstance all the time. Who you are now, it's only as a result of what you have been taught. So sometimes... People, whatever they've been taught in society, or whatever they've learned or trained, and whatever the environment has taught them, uh, what their belief system has been imposed of who they are. So if you you have some negative experience, and you combine those things with the principle. And then you just accept yourself. Like, you can have negative experience and then you classify your life to become like that. Say, oh, this is my life. No, it's one negative bad experience. You can, you can do better than that the next time. So don't accept yourself uh, um, just because of negative uh, experience that you have 
and you just say hey this is my life I, I'm not gonna get better like some people for relationship because they have a couple of bad relationship you say you know what I'm not good in relationship or in experience of job oh you know what I have bad experience in this job so you know what I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother anyway with that job or uh, like for education some people it's like you know what school school is not meant for me and uh, learning is not meant for me that's no no just because you have one bad experience one negative experience that means you to classify your life and live your life just like that no you made mistake yes I get it okay what you have to look in those situations say okay I made mistake why where did I go wrong in this situation where do I go wrong how can I fix it how can I make it better and then you move on to the next situation but you can't just accept it say this is my life no it's not acceptable God wants you to have a better life sometimes we're exposed to like and like, like the environments that we're exposed to um, classify who we are but don't make the the environment uh, dictate to you how you can live your life don't make um, situation dictates to you how you can live your life the environment is just an environment but you can change that yourself and you need work it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that who you who you it doesn't mean that who you are meant to be because environment uh, uh, um, dictates to you or uh, the situation around you dictate to you that doesn't mean that's who you are supposed to be you're supposed to be something better you're supposed to be something good and God uh, uh, created us uh, to be better it created us to be better we all are a work in progress here I am a work in progress I'm not saying that I'm better than you you're not better than me we are a work in progress and you have to be working on yourself we have to constantly uh, um, work on ourselves to improve our 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 situation to improve our life you can't just uh, accept uh, um, a negative or bad experience you can't it's a work in progress we have to keep on doing the best thing that is going to benefit our life is going to benefit our future is going to benefit people around us if you keep doing uh, um, the same thing and it's not doing anything better for you I think that is a clear thing that you know what it's time to change to make it better to improve it look where you've went wrong look where the situation went wrong and say you know what this is the time for me to improve and do better and correct the mistakes that you've done that's not working for you so this year it's time for you to correct those things that have been going wrong for you and say you know what these things and you these things have been going wrong for me so now I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna make it better you must get it better because your life need to be better you can't just leave just like that everybody deserve a better life everybody deserve a better future so you can determine that yourself don't let other people determine your future or how you are gonna live your life everybody in life we want to improve our life daily we want to make it better every day like every day you need to improve your life every day don't just do nothing about your life if you don't do nothing about your life nobody is gonna come and do something for your life but you have to make the changes you have to make the improvement you have to you are the one that's responsible for your future nobody else you need to change things in your life not the environment must change it's not your environment that need to change it's you that needs to change some people think that oh it's the environment that needs to change but no you have the power to change the environment around you but don't 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 think that or let the environment change you the person change and then once you change the environment around you will be changed 
and sometimes people think oh that person need to be changed yeah that person need to be changed what about you maybe you can approach that person in a better way that can change that person it's not only pointing fingers on people say oh you have to change I don't have to do anything it's it's, it's a progress both of us okay you sit with the person and you guys figure out what is the best outcome how you guys gonna benefit each other not only pointing finger at one person you change you change you know you share love give that person love and that person will come to realization and and said okay you know what I need to change my attitude I am sorry to break it to you guys it is it is us that needs to change sometimes we need to change once we change our environment will be changed we need to change ourselves like example in a workplace like some people go to work crabby cranky and then now they are affecting their environment but if you go to work every day and you're happy you 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 you're lovely and everything just imagine how your environment is going to be your environment is going to be happy and lovely but if you go to work you crabby and then now you're taking it out on other people then now you're infecting the environment and everybody is going to be crabby because you've made those people crabby but if you go have a positive mindset so try it this year this coming year like when you go to work go with a positive no matter what you're going through I know people go through stuff we all go through stuff but you need to go with a positive mindset at work wh wherever you go like start your day by being being cheerful being lovely being caring and then just imagine if you start your day like that oh say hello to people smile to people be nice not crabby and say somebody say hello to you oh please leave me alone no say hey how are you doing today like smile and then once you smile you bring that in your environment with you come and see everybody will be happy in that mo uh, in, in that environment everybody will be so positive in that environment because then you infecting the environment to be happy and joyful and nobody is gonna be cranky but if you started cranky then you're gonna piss that one off then you t piss that other one off then now the environment is it's not really peaceful it's not even it's not really nice anymore because you have affected the environment so we need to change and then our environment will be changed but if you don't change then you, you your life is it's if you don't change the way you you act and the way you behave then guess what your environment is going to be negative um For us to be changed, it, like it need work. We all need work. It's very hard because we all need work. It's very difficult, but we need to work on ourselves, day to day. Like I'm not saying that this new year everything's gonna be smooth. No, it's always a first step. Step say okay. When you wake up in the morning, you have to think. Or even before you go to bed, think about it. Say okay, this is plan the way your day is gonna be. Like it might not be the way, but you have to be positive in everything you do okay if something went wrong but look at the best uh, thing out of that situation don't be capitalized on the bad things that is happening in your environment but look at the positive things in your life said okay this thing happened this morning okay maybe for example it's very cold in the morning okay your car cannot start okay it cannot start okay Find a way how you're going to solve it so it starts. Don't be crabby. Then when you go and then you start pissing off, it's not going to change anything. It's not going to change. If you piss off about it, that's not going to make the car start. You just need to go and call for somebody to help you to help it start. And then once you get to work, not because, oh, then now you're going to be crabby because your car didn't start this money. No, you still need to go in your environment and be nice to people. Say hello, smile, and because it's already over. Don't bring negative energy in your environment. This year, 
try to bring positive e energy in in your um what app shall i open uh in your environment so this year make a change in your life become a better you become a better you make a list make a list of all the things that have not been working for you this year make a list of it write them down say okay this thing worked this thing worked this thing worked like just list them down this year before the, the coming uh, uh before january list them down all the things that didn't work for you and then now you go into each and every one of, of them and say why didn't it work for you like why didn't it work so then you have to find a solution or better way how it's gonna work this year for you just make the list write them down and go each and every one of them why didn't it work find it go 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 uh, um you can research about it how to make it become better for you this year research because the computer is there like google is there like okay there are people that have lived better or in that circumstance or those things happen how did they overcome it how did they make it better in your life and then you go through your list and make it and then you you have to step up in one of all in in those lists and 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 whatever you research about it then you have to live that life that's how you're going to improve that situation in your life uh, and then the other thing too for example like okay i know sometimes we surrounded ourselves with negative people okay i'm not saying uh, we're supposed to love people i'm not i'm not saying don't love people we're supposed to love people but sometimes we surround ourselves with people so much that those people are so negative for us it's making us not to prosper our life it's making us not to uh, uh li live to a uh, a potential that's god uh, uh, destined for us like so you need to this year it's one thing that you have to find um people that's gonna in impact your life in a positive way and you have to cut off those people that are impacting your life in a in a negative way like don't cut them you still talk to them and stuff but you have to limit yourself because if they're being a bad influence to you guess what you're not going to live to your to your 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 life potential that god uh, destined for you so you need to cut off those people in your life and and then you have to surround yourself with people that you want to become like like for example you want to become like you want if you want to become rich for some people material things are more important to them than anything else if you want to become rich you have to um surround yourself by people that are rich not being um copying their life like some if you want to be like uh, for example okay you want to be like bill gates or you want to be like steve job or like the rich people out there like the one way you what you can do to become like them is actually following them like reading their books go in the internet research about them how did these people how is their value and principle how 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 are they working their life and you need to copy that and then you can become that person if you want to become a pastor look for a mentor a, a real man of god a mentor that you want to become like you the person the, the life you want to live you have to surround those people that's how they're going to impact you and you're going to become like those people but if you surround yourself with people that are that are not impacting your life in a great way then you're gonna become like those people because you surround yourself with those people so try this year and surround yourself with people that you want to become like if you want to be a, become a great worship leader okay you have to look for the best worship leader and then you have to study their life and you have to follow their life okay how did they become a, a great worship leader and then they will tell you how they become a great great worship leader and you're gonna follow them and become a, a, a like a great worship leader you can't just sit down and you want to become a great worship leader it's not gonna happen you can't just sit down and you think that you're gonna be rich 
you are not going to be rich by just sitting down or and, and surround yourself with people that are not rich not no you not the people around you they're going to impact your life in a positive way so if you have good people around you they're going to make you become good if you have bad people around you they they're going to help you to become bad because that's the thing you've seen all the time and and you don't know better because you 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 surround yourself by negative people so then you too going to become negative but if you surround yourself with positive people then you're going to become positive so this year try and make your list and then you cut off things that are necessary in your life and live uh, a fulfilled life because we all need to live a fulfilled life if you are not living a fulfilled life right now it's time for you to sit down and think about it so you got to change your environment change your environment and the people around you the people that you spend time with you got to change that if you want to become a better you change your environment and change the people around you that's how you're going to become a better person you need to accomplish if you want to accomplish um anything positive in your life you have to Cut off those people you have to limit yourself of those people and you have to copy the people that you want to become and you have to surround yourself with the people that you want to become and once you do that you surround yourself with the people that you want to become then you're gonna become those people but if you surround yourself with people that are negative they 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 do uh, um, bad things then guess what you're gonna become bad like those people but surround yourself with positive people, people that they they they're accomplishing things in their life. Surround yourself with those people. Cut off those negative people out of your life. I'm not saying you have to be mean or anything. You can still help them, but don't spend so much time with them because when you spend so much time with people that are not uh, uh, doing anything positive in your life, then you're gonna become that kind of person. So try and become change. Like for me, um, like people that watch my Facebook, for example, like Sunday Adelaja, I want to become like him. I want to be like him. He is such a good man of God. He, he, the way life is, he, I just like his royal model. I just like the way he behaves with his life. I just like who he is. So I have been paying close attention to him have been following him and by following him for the past year or so then now he got some things out of me that I didn't even know was inside of me like these are the people you need to surround yourself the people that are gonna get things out of you like get, get you to live in your fulfilled life surround yourself like for him he's getting things out of me I didn't even know it was inside of me like that's the people you need to surround yourself that's gonna push you that's gonna push you to your uh, uh, to your destiny that you are created for but if people are not doing that in your life people are just putting you down you surround yourself that people are just putting you down and think that you you're not good enough or all that kind of stuff you need to change that this year we need to change that find a, a real model a person that you want to be like and follow that person closely and I bet you hundred percent if you follow that person closely you will become that person and you have to follow their, their their value and principle that they follow how they become that way and then you will become that person definitely I bet you hundred percent like read their books if you or go in the internet google them said how a principle and value of these people that you want to become and then enlist them and then every day day to day you live your life just like that we need to decide how we can live our life don't let anybody decide how um you they like no, don't let anybody decide for you but you have to decide 
how you're going to live your life and how you're going to be better you. Don't let other people control your life and tell you, oh, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. No, you have your own brain. You have your own thinking. Think, say, no, what is this going to benefit me? What is going to benefit me the most? What is going to be good for me the most? Then you do it. Don't just let people boss you around and fool you around and just follow their ways. No, decide yourself and do the right thing though. You have to follow the biblical principle in life. And once you follow the biblical principle in life, and guess what? Your life will be more successful because you follow the biblical principle. Because some people today, we're not seeking uh, um, the kingdom anymore. We uh, People are seeking after their own selfish interests now, uh, which is not right. So cut off those people out of your life and and replace them with the people that you want to become what like replace it with the people that you would want to become and then live the life that the people you want to become like people that are positive though not bad people or bad influence that's going to make you be bad no it's good cool things that is good for you so when you go out in your environment influence your environment in a positive way not a negative way positive way be positive all the time be i know life is uh, uh, life is reality like things don't happen the way you plan but you always have to think the better thing out of that situation don't always just uh, um think about the bad things bad things bad things all the time and if you think about bad things all the time then you're gonna become a, your life is gonna become bad but if you think about good things and positive things and you bring those positive things into your life, guess what? You will become positive and you're going to work. Okay, uh, in, in 1 Corinthians uh, 15, 33, uh, it also says there, bad company, bad company, corrupt, good manners or character. So guess what? If you're in bad company, you'll be corrupted. So, you corrupt people in a better way. If you're the good one, impact them to change. Don't, don't, don't take the bad things to yourself. Like, impact them. If you're bad and you're following biblical principles, impact those people in that way instead of you taking their bad things in your own life. The other thing we need to stop this year, we must stop running away from our challenges. That's the other thing we need to do this coming 2008. Stop running away from your challenges. Stop running away from your challenges. You have to face your challenges. That's the only way you're going to be a better person. You face your challenges head on. Say, okay, this is, what I, uh, uh, this is what my challenges are. You have to face it and then you change it but if you don't face it you always running away from it it's always gonna be there when something happens deal with it right away finish about it and move on don't put it back off you said oh i'll deal with that tomorrow i'll deal with that tomorrow no it happened deal with it finish with it move on to the next day don't run away from challenges because they're always going to come back to you. No matter how long you put it, uh, no matter how long you put it away, it's always going to be there until you deal with it. Once you deal with it, then you're done with it. But if you don't deal with it, you're just putting it away, you're just pushing it away, it's always going to be there. So don't push away things that are crisis. Deal with it. If you don't know how to deal with it, go to the internet and find a way how to deal with those situations that you are facing. But don't push it away. Find or go to somebody, the same person that went through that. How did you accomplish this? How did you go through this? Like for people that, that went through divorce, like other people that went through divorce, there's so much material online, like in the internet to, to teach you how to deal with divorce how to deal with separation like how to deal with abuse there is so much but don't
put away the abuse because it's going to affect you somehow if you don't deal with the, if you don't deal with it completely you need to deal with stuff completely and then you will be free forever but if you don't deal with it and you're just suppressing it you're just suppressing it that's why some people uh, get into addiction they they went into like drinking or, or or they might go and find something just to numb the pain no it is the wrong way that you will ever deal with your challenges your problem in your life when you try to take something else to numb the pain don't numb the pain you have to deal with it once you deal with it you will be a free person but if you don't deal with it it's always gonna be there but deal with it and then go over with it stop running away from your challenges don't wherever you see you have to um don't be just silent about things either in your life don't silence about it. Something happened to you. Talk to somebody. Sometimes by just talking to somebody you love or somebody you care would help you deal with this problem. Don't keep so many things in your heart because sometimes we keep we keep things in our hearts and then it affects us. It affects the people around us. Like don't learn how to suppress the pain in your life. Don't don't do that. It's wrong. Don't suppress it. Deal with it. Talk about it. Find somebody that can help you with that problem. Don't just suppress it. Just take pain medication or antidepressant. If you're depressed, you have to go to the root of why you are depressed. That's the only way you're going to get a complete, um, you're going to be completely free. But if you take medication, it's just going to numb it. And you're just causing more damage to yourself. Deal with the depression that you have. Deal with the, 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 the abuse that you have. Like You have to deal with it. If you can't deal with it by yourself, go to people that will help you to deal with it. So you can get it off your system. Once you get off your system, it's like you lift up a, like a heavy load just come out of you. And you're going to be free. You're going to be light. But when you keep those things and you keep piling them on you, it, it makes you... You weigh you down. It just weigh you down every day. It just, you, and then you're gonna be weighed down, and then you can't really get up anymore. So when things happen, deal with it. You get rid of it, and then you move on to the next thing. Don't make things pile up. Don't pile things up. The more you pile things up, and you pile things up in your life, and then it's gonna weigh you down, and then you're gonna be depressed. You're gonna be in this situation, but but the easier way you can do it is just deal with the situation. It has to come, deal with it, get rid of it, and then move on to the next thing. Don't run away from your challenges. That's the bad thing you will ever do in your life. When you run away from your challenges, deal with it head on and then finish about it. And then you don't have to deal with it anymore. So, um, the third thing that you need to stop, that you, you need to, um, change this year, this coming year, stop being someone else. Stop being someone else. Stop playing games with yourself and with others. Because I know some um, um, people, they they play these games in people's life. Like some relationship, they play games with people's life. And it's not right for you to play games in people's life. So if you are that person that you play with people's life emotion for your own selfish interests you have to stop it this year start living honesty to yourself don't play with people emotion it is not right you won't like somebody else to play with your emotion why will you play with somebody else emotion today people paint a picture of themselves they are not we dress up to create a wrong impression so this year stop creating wrong impression in your life you have to be who you are you have to be honest with yourself sometimes we the way we look and the way we behave 
and we, we create this kind of impression into people like a negative impression into people but that's not really who you are you're just creating this impression so people think that you are who you are not you are fooling yourself you are not fooling the people but you're fooling yourself if you're living a life that you are not really you are don't live a life that that's it's not you you have to live a life that is you because when you live a life that is you you don't have anything to worry about don't try to impress people because you trying to impress people all the time just gonna put you into more problem you just have to be yourself don't make up yourself in, in, a, in a way that you are not just to create this big impression some people are afraid of who they are guess what if you're afraid of who you are and you think who you are is a it's it's a negative thing you need to fix yourself first and then once you fix yourself and you feel better about yourself then you can step out but don't create this wrong impression about people because people go find out who you really are and then what you're gonna say to these people say hey you were maxing yourself out in a way that you are not but if you create yourself who you are you come honestly and be who you are from up front and then they know that's who you are instead of and painting yourself but that's not the person you are be yourself and if you are you are not that good become a good person become a better you people deceive themselves these days by because they want to make somebody love them you gotta stop that stop impressing everybody you cannot impress everybody you will try but you will not impress everybody just leave your, your just live your life like harness yourself be yourself be who God wants you to be you're not gonna please people like for me I'm never gonna please people so I have accepted myself say you know what I'm just gonna do what is right what is the truth what is the the, the, the right thing I'm not gonna be doing wrong things as long as you your, your conscience is clear that you are doing the honest truth you're doing the right thing that it's based on the biblical principle and you're not taking advantage of other people or you're not offending people in a bad way or you're not bringing them down or all these negative things you're not doing to people but you're doing the positive things you're doing the right things that's all matters you don't need to impress people I've stopped impressing people a long time ago. I do what is right, and that's it. If you offended you, I'm sorry if if he offended you, but it's the right thing, and the right thing always stand. The truth always stand. The truth is always absolute. As long as you're doing the truth, the honest truth, absolute, the truth that is universal, it's all over. One plus one is two, and you're doing that, you know that, whatever you do this is the outcome that is going to be and the outcome is going to be a positive outcome it's going to impact people's life in a positive way then you might hurt some other people but but as long as you're doing the right thing you're doing the truth the absolute truth you're not supposed to care about who you the people that wants to learn the people that wants to accept that truth they will accept it the ones that don't want to accept that truth they will not accept it but don't try to live your life by in, like in impressing people. Don't bring up a show. Don't bring up an act. Come to your realization of who you are and accept who you are. And so I'm going to say it again. If your life is not good enough, try to work on yourself and make your life good enough. Don't pretend make your life good enough and then you live that life good enough face your problem face your challenges don't put them off face it deal with it 
and then you, you then you're done the other things that we need to change this year this coming year stop pitying yourself some people pity themselves so much you we need to stop pitying ourselves they pity you pity yourself all the time oh what about me what about me what about me what about me Ugh. life is not all about you there are other people too we have we have to live a life that everybody is gonna benefit to it not only one person but everybody stop pitying yourself I'm gonna repeat again stop pitying yourself stop looking at yourself as a victim this year stop feeling sorry for yourself everybody go through pain have gone through my own pain I where I went I I have I went through abuse have went through my own pain I've went through my own pain in relationship I've went through my own pain in so much things but if you just sit down and you just pity yourself <laughs> and just crying about it, crying about it and sitting around about it is not going to help you. But you need to step up and find a way how you're going to benefit yourself better. Pitying yourself is not going to benefit you. You need to find solution to that problem that's the only thing that is going to benefit you in life but if you just sit down and you pity yourself i'm sorry to to inform you that not going to help you you are just feeling sorry for yourself no i i went through a lot of stuff i've went through a lot of challenges in life and i didn't just sit down and pity myself i have to work through them i work through each and every of them there until i have a breakthrough i work through through of them i i I deal with the challenges and then I see where I went wrong and I try to correct it I try to educate myself I try to better myself say okay this is what I went wrong okay now I'm not gonna do that again if I do this this is what's gonna work better for me so stop pitying yourself this coming year and work on yourself pitying yourself not gonna do you any good in life don't just sit down and do nothing about your life only you can make the changes that you need to change in your life. Nobody else is going to change that, change you. But you have to make, come to a decision. Said, hey, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to change my life this year. And I'm not going to stop pitying myself. If I have challenges, I'm going to deal with my challenges. And I'm going to work on myself. And I'm going to surround myself with people that's going to influence me in a better way and in a positive way. Like you have to cut off all the negative things out of your life and bring in the positive things. Don't pity yourself this year. Everybody have pain. Everybody go through pain. But you need to go through those pain. That's going to make you a better person. Don't just take medication or just take something to numb that pain because you numbing that pain that pain is always gonna be there the only way you're gonna get get rid of that pain is once you work on it and you you do something about it and then you get rid of the pain completely don't take anything to numb your pain when abuse is happening in your life deal with the abuse and find somebody that's going to help you in, in, in dealing with that abuse or deal with that situation don't just take something like you have depression go to the root of the depression why am i depressed why what is happening why am i being this way go to the root of the problem why you are that way and then once you go to the root of that problem why you are that way then you're going to get rid of that that problem forever but if you just take medication, it's just going to numb it. It's just going to make you feel better for that, for that moment. But it's always going to be there. So please share this message. It might bless somebody today. It might help somebody today. It might help somebody this coming year. To just share this message. You can comment. You can do whatever you want. Just share it. Let the message go out. Or if you've learned something today... Go and, and use it. Make use of it. That's the only way you're going to benefit yourself. When you learn something, you have to leave it. 
No, just listen to it and not do anything about it. That's the only way you're going to impact yourself in a better way. By when you learn something and you live, you, you practice it. Practice make perfect. So it's always say practice make perfect. So when you practice a good attitude, you you practice a good moral, you, you, you practice a good principle in your life, then it's going to be like normal to you, second hand to you. It's, it's just going to... It's going to come like nature to you. You don't have to try hard anymore. But the first time when you start something, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be hard. It's going to be challenging. But you have to try it every day, one day at a time. Every day, you step up the next day. Every day, you step up the next day until you get to the goal that you want to be this coming year. So, the last thing I'm going to talk about is blaming people for your life. Those people don't live your life, so stop blaming people this coming year. You want to be a better you? Stop blaming people. Stop um, saying, you. this person make me to become this way. No, you have power to change your life. You have power to make your life better. You have power to impact your life better. And if you follow the, the step that I tell you, by, by cutting off people that are impacting your life negatively and bring and replace it with people that's going to get you to your destination or your your goal in life like study those principle of those people that you want to become in life and then follow them closely and then eventually you're going to become that 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 person so you need to do that and live your life become yourself become real you who you are like not in negative way, but in positive way, because you are who you are and God created you for a reason, for a purpose. And you cannot run away from who you are forever. If you are running away from, for, from who you are, then you're not becoming you. You're becoming somebody else. So live who you are and you have to better yourself by learning from other people, by educating yourself. So stop blaming people about your life. Nobody owes it to you, but you owe it to yourself. Don't blame people of things that happen. You have to take responsibility of your life, of your future. And nobody else should be blamed. Because you, God give us a brain, God give us our eyes. We have to think about what we do. And think about the outcome. Don't just do something foolishly. Think about it first. And you can go to God in prayer about it. Say, God, you know what? Help me in this situation. I need help in this situation. And lead me to make uh, make this right. And, and all this kind of stuff. Like have a personal relationship. The one thing that you will dis discover this year. Learn how to have a personal relationship with God. You have a, a personal relationship with God. That's the best thing you will ever do in your life. Because once you have a personal relationship with God, you live your life like God. Because He's going to give you the information that you need day to day. And once you see evil, you will not go there. Because you have a relationship. Because once you have a relationship with God... God will point out the things that are wrong in your life and point out the things that you need to fix in your life. Have a personal relationship and God will deal with you in your heart. And then once he deal with you, that's how you're going to have your deliverance. Not by a man laying hand on you or anything like that. But having a personal relationship with God, that's the only thing that's going to deliver you because he's going to you're going to have that relationship with him. And then once you have that relationship with him, he's going to point out the things that you need to fix in your life. And he's going to help you fix your life because we cannot fix those things by ourselves. We can try, but we cannot. But God will help us and we'll be able to fix those things in our life. I'm not saying that I'm perfect or my life is better than anybody. No, I have things that I need to fix and I've been fixing things in my life that have not been working out for me and they're working for me now because I am I'm using the right principle the right things that I needed to use in the first place that I ignored so today this coming year do these changes and I bet you will come back in 2019 you will say wow you will be surprised about the way your life is
if you follow these steps that I have said you have to sometimes you might not get it to first time you might have to listen to it over and over again but we need to make a positive change this coming 2018 change your life don't blame people for your life you have to blame yourself and you have to face your challenges in life face your challenges and stop uh, um stop being pity stop being pity yourself about things in life and then you have to live your life that don't be somebody else be yourself don't copy other people's life because today people copy other people I want to be like this celebrity I want to dress like this celebrity but they're going after the wrong things but that's not the only thing that is more important in life but live a fulfilled life that's the most important things that you ever do in your life live your your life that you were destined for on earth and then the only way you can you can know that by having a relationship with your father in heaven so I am going to stop here today but I hope you guys enjoy this program and you can comment you can share you can tag somebody that you love that might need this today my need this this year tag it tag them share the message to them and then you can have a wonderful 2018 if you do these things i guarantee you thank you have a good day god bless you i love you and take care